In Jefferson County, it's not just the cold and snow that'll be a big concern on Halloween. A mountain lion has been roaming neighborhoods. So wildlife officers are reminding families to stay alert, especially with the trick-or-treating. Our Jeff Todd looking into this wildlife issue for us tonight. Jeff, these are predators and certainly caution is warranted. And Jim, these are neighborhoods that are very close to the wilderness, but just this past weekend, a wildlife officer went and talked to neighbors, hoping to share more knowledge to keep people and animals safe. Mountain lions generally are very elusive, so when you see it, it's kind of rare. But high-tech cameras around homes is changing all of that. Colorado Parks and Wildlife shared these two videos. They believe it's the same mountain lion in neighborhoods south of Morrison. Mountain lions are going to go where their, where their prey are, and if you have deer all over your, your neighborhood, then uh, it's very likely that you can draw in mountain lions. We spotted this buck this afternoon. He seemed to be unfazed by people or dogs, simply strolling through the neighborhood looking for leaves peeking out of the snow which could be why the mountain lion is now getting so close to homes. The mountain lions are opportunistic hunters. The concern this week is trick-or-treaters being in the neighborhoods around the same time as the big cat. Dust to dawn is when a lot of your predators can be very active. Not just mountain lions, your coyotes can be that way. There have been two mountain lion attacks this year along the front range. Wildlife officials don't want a third. People just need to be vigilant when they're out, so parents need to escort their children. Uh, they should be walking in well-lit areas and uh, making noise when they go out as help, and the more noise you make will keep, you know, critters away. CPW is really stressing that hazing technique, either making yourself really big if you're near a cat or doing something to make noise to try and scare them off. The other concern the agency has, though, is that this isn't being reported enough. They're really hoping that people will continue to report that cat activity so that they can continue to monitor it. Reporting live tonight, Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.